Hi, I'm inside a Carcharodon megalodon, or as we call it today, Otodus megalodon, though it's gone by a number of generic names over the years. Regardless of what you call it, the size is enormous. This is absolutely a gigantic beast. This thing lived up to five million years ago when it went extinct. There are none alive today, despite some rather questionable movies about them, shall we say? But look at the enormousness of this animal. It would easily swallow entire groups of people whole. I love it. There's lots of debate about how long it is, how heavy it is. What do we call it? This is one of the most controversial animals. And the reason is sharks don't leave behind skeletons. They're cartilaginous. They almost never do. So you have to argue over these teeth. Well, is it a great white? Is it a mako? What's it more similar to? Maybe it was of its own. But what's really cool is there is at least one specimen that did get perfectly lucky chemistry-wise, died, sank to the bottom, and we do have some bones of it. So through that, we can do a lot of cool studies. But this is Megalodon, is what everyone calls it, the Meg. And I can't even reach across in any direction. Dr. Brian Curtis with Fossil Crates on location at the Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center saying thank you kindly. Adios.